Hi, welcome to Make Thrift Buy. Now if you're new here, this is a show where you, the audience, send me links to clothing or accessories that you found on the internet and then I do my best to recreate them. Today's challenge was suggested by Genevieve Stanley, who wanted me to try and make a bat wing hooded tunic top. The shirt from Genevieve's original suggestion is from Creepsville 666 and also sold on Dolls Kill. But I'm not going to be recreating this shirt exactly. I'm also going to use shirts and dresses and costumes that I found on places like AliExpress, eBay, Amazon, Walmart. Those are not practical. As inspiration for my very own bat wing shirt. Anyway, let's get started. I started out by thrifting myself a black long sleeve t-shirt. This was $6, which was way too overpriced for a secondhand shirt, but that's what you get if you shop in inner city thrift stores. I also have this stretchy lycra fabric, which I got at Lincraft. I'm going to be using this for the bat wings and the hood. So the first step is making the wings. To do this, I place my shirt on top of the lycra material and I bring the arm up like this. Then, with one end of my tape measure at the armpit seam, I draw a mark 13 inches, 13, huh? Spooky. Away from the armpit, on the lycra just below the sleeve. I continue to make marks in a radius 13 inches away from the armpit seam. I join these marks up to make this circular shape, and then I also trace around the insides of the shirt to make this shape. And now I'm going to cut two of these from the lycra. I'm going to make these look more like bat wings. To do this, I grab myself a kitchen plate and I use that to trace four part circles onto the edge of these wings. Now, I'm going to sew over the top of this chalk line. First, I'm using a straight stitch. And then I'm going to go over it again using a zigzag stitch. Then I'm simply going to cut carefully around the edges of the stitch that I just made. Now just so you know, I'm not worried about it fraying because I'm using a lycra material, which is a material that does not fray. So I'm cutting as close to that stitch as possible, making sure not to cut right through it. And the edges of my bat wings look like this. And I repeat this for both wings. Now it's time to attach these to the shirt. First I turn the shirt inside out. I line the bat wing up with the shirt and I make small marks where the edges of the wing end. Here and here. Then I start carefully seam ripping the shirt between these two marks. Seam ripping, however, takes forever. So once I've gotten onto the other side of the shirt, I simply cut up the seam with this massive pair of scissors. Both methods are valid, but if you're lazy like me, just cut up the seam. It'll be totally fine. So once that seam was busted open, I lined the wing up again, and then, watch carefully, I flipped it over, pushing it inside the shirt, matching up the raw edges of the wing with the raw edges of the opened up shirt. I pin the seam of the shirt back together with the raw edge of the wing sandwiched between these two pieces. Now the curves you're matching up here do go in two different directions, so you'll get quite a bit of bunching up when you pin. So it's a good idea to just pin the arm first and then sew across here, using again a zigzag stitch. Now, if you're going to sew over the top of your pins, be really careful. You can sew over them carefully if they're lying perpendicular to your sewing foot like this, but if you're unsure or uncertain, it's a really good idea to remove the pins just before you sew over the top of them, because sewing over the top can, in rare cases, break your needle. Now, because I'm working with stretchy material, which likes to roll over at the edges, I made sure that I went really slowly, and I flattened out the bottom layer as I sewed, as you can see me doing here. Then I did the exact same thing for the body of the shirt, pinning the side seams of the shirt back together with the raw edge of the wing sandwiched between these two layers. And again, I sewed over the three layers like this. I then did the exact same thing to the other side. And then I turned the shirt the right way around and we've got wings. Now I want to add a hood. I've never made a hood before, but luckily I have this hooded jacket and I'm basically going to use this to copy and make my own hood from. The hood was detachable, so I took it off the jacket, put it on to see if it would fit my shirt, and then I realized I'd need to extend the hood pattern a little bit so it would reach the back of the shirt. So to copy the hood, I simply folded it in half and then I traced around it onto my lycra, adding some extra inches here to the bottom. I then folded my lycra in half so that I could cut through two layers at a time, put pins through both layers to hold them together, and then I cut around the chalk lines. So now I've got these two identical pieces pinned together. I'm going to sew them together like this. And 
it worked. I have a hood, yay. Now I could also hem the raw edges of the hood to make it a bit neater, but I'm not going to bother because as I mentioned before, this fabric doesn't fray at the edges, plus I'm lazy. To attach the hood to the shirt, I line up the middle seam with the tag because the tag's in the middle of the shirt. And then I pin it on at these three places so that it doesn't move. And then I sew it onto the neckline like this. And there's my hood. And I'm really excited because I've never made a hood before and it was surprisingly easy. So I could just finish it here, but I feel like it's still missing something. That's it. I need to add some bat ears. First, I make a mark where the bat ears should sit. Then, I cut out four identical triangle pieces from my lycra fabric. I pin two pieces each together, and I sew them together like this, leaving a small hole through which I can turn them inside out. Then, I grab some stuffing. And this stuffing was saved from when I pulled the guts out of Mr. Bear here in episode number 23. And then I stuffed the ears through this small gap, until they're nice and fat. Then I use a needle and thread to hand stitch the small gap closed. And then I use the same needle and thread to stitch the ears onto the top of the hood where I made those chalk marks before. Then the last thing I did, which I probably should have done earlier, was to iron the edges of the bat wings flat. And this is what you shouldn't do. Please take the shirt off before ironing, because this is not a smart way to iron things. Anyway, that's it. Now the question is, how does it look? How did I go? is thrift yourself a black t-shirt which should be pretty easy to do or use one that you already have and then make this for yourself it would make both a cute Halloween costume but also it's subtle enough to just be a cute t-shirt that you wear around the time of Halloween and if you're wondering about the difficulty of this project if you are a confident sewer so it's a confident beginner and above it shouldn't take you more than three or four hours to complete this if you like this, give this video a thumbs up. As always, use the hashtag DIYAnnika on Instagram to show me your own attempts at any of my tutorials. And I'll see you all for my next video. Bye.